But okay, so if we look at how far somebody can run versus how many seconds, an average runner, is, yeah, can probably run. Can't run 100 meters in 10 seconds. That's getting close to world class. Okay. Only world-class runners can run that far. So it's going to be less than 100 meters in 10 seconds. So now, a quarter mile, about 400 meters, OK? An average person in really good shape can probably run it in 60 seconds. A good runner would run it faster. World record is around 45 seconds, OK? We'll say an average runner can run at 60 seconds. And a mile, uh, if you're pretty good, you can run a mile in five minutes. Okay? Not everybody can even train to run in five minutes. And that's a mile, so that puts a point way up here. So if we connect these points to the curve, we get this. And a fundamental triangle from here to here has a meaning. And a fundamental triangle from here out to there has a rise and a run and a meaning. And the slope of this triangle is going to be less than the slope of this triangle because of what the slope of the fundamental <coughs> triangle means. It basically means by increasing your distance, what happens or by increasing the time you run, what happens to the distance you can cover? How, how does the distance change? And it comes down to the fact that uh, the further you have to run, the slower you've got to go. Okay? And that one's not too hard to understand. There are others that are even easier, and that's what I'll probably give you for homework, and that'll give you a couple more challenges. Okay? Make sense? And so what I'm going to relate back to your fundamental to your basic graphs. Okay, very good.